city today. This is such a beautiful place to be, to be placed as a priest. We're only here temporarily, and I'm just so proud of this community. From the, the Boy Scouts who were here overnight protecting the flag. I love that. And I just met John over here, who saw the first name inscribed up here. Amazing. And the whole community turning out. We thank the Lord for this great day to honor those fallen, protecting our freedom, serving the Lord in the way that he called them to do it. Today we remember and honor the loss of Americans who loved with self-giving love whose lives were offered as a gift for each one of us, who though maybe afraid, overcame it with courage in the Lord. This is the key. That self-sacrificial love is the key, the greatest sacrifice that can be offered. And they were our own, from our own city, from our own county, from our own state, from our own country, that the Lord still inspires young men and women to this day to offer this sacrifice, and we're grateful. They had personalities, probably personality quirks, right? They had great traits, gifts, and dreams. And they laid it down for you and me so that we could pursue our own. This is amazing. It can only be the work of God. But we do not mourn like those who have no hope because we have hope in God. We have hope in Jesus. And this is why we stand here as a community today. Because he had one major prayer, and that was that they would all be one, not divided. And sometimes we have to fight for that oneness. And we thank the Lord for the inspiring these men and women to fight for our freedom. We approach the remembrance with, of their self-gift with deep gratitude knowing that the Lord is with us and we ask him to remain in our hearts and in our community forever. So brothers and sisters, please join me as we pray. And I'll pray as Catholic priests pray, right? In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord God, you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You're the great warrior who came to fight for us and win, to free your children from the slavery of sin and death. But death did not have victory over you, Lord. In your camp is life, love, compassion, peace, hope, faith, joy, all the transcendental properties that only are in you. And in the enemy's camp, Lord, is hatred, sin, fear, and death all the things that pull us down, discourage us, try to lead us into distress, despair, and bitterness. But your death, Lord, on the cross was not and is not a sign of your defeat. Rather, your camp is life and the enemies is death. In that moment where you chose to be swallowed by death, you kicked the gates of death in. You liberated the captives who were trapped there and you set us free, giving us hope that life does not end with death, but continues in the resurrection from the dead. We thank you, Lord. In our soldiers, especially the fallen, we remember and thank you for them today. We see a reflection of Jesus' redeeming mission from the Father, to liberate, to set free, to selflessly offer himself for the good of the other. We pray today that you would forgive the sins, cleanse the souls of and wounds of the fallen in battle and welcome them into your loving arms into the internal joys of heaven with you forever. And we thank you for them. They were a gift to us in their godly sacrifice of self as a gift for the benefit of the world and for their brothers and sisters. They're a gift to us today as we enjoy the freedoms they help to secure. They're, they will be a gift to future generations of your beloved children. Father, we ask you, help us to imitate your son in self-giving love as an offering for freedom in you and from you and through you for our brothers and sisters. 
And I'd like to call a blessing upon all of you in Royal Oak today. As you'll join me, please, for anyone in any faith tradition, please maybe extend your hands in blessing, whatever you want to do, and ask the Lord to anoint this place. Come Holy Spirit. Come Lord Jesus. Come Father Almighty. Anoint this place. All the people here, their loved ones, all those fighting overseas for our freedom, all those in the military, all first responders, everyone who has given their lives in self-giving love for the good of you and the other. Lord, I ask for your blessing and anointing upon this entire town, this entire city, everyone in it. Let it be a place of your divine light and love to drive away all evil and keep us always one. And may Almighty God bless all of you today, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I would like to say one more word, if you don't mind. And that is, Mother Teresa one time, you know Mother Teresa, we love our Mother Teresa in the Catholic Church, right? Mother Teresa one time was asked by a reporter, Mother, why do you keep doing it? Why do you keep going and saving and rescuing people who are going to die, the children, the sick and the dying in the streets? Don't you see, it seems like the world isn't being changed because of it. I don't know who would say that to Mother Teresa, but this guy had some boldness, right? And she said to him with this great kind of like Mother Teresa way, she said, I don't do it to change the world. I do it so that the world doesn't change me. I don't do it to change the world. I do it so the world doesn't change me. In other words, be so conformed to God in his kingdom of light that whatever bitterness, despair, struggles, whatever we've seen, what we wish we could unsee in life and in battle, and we wouldn't let that take us captive. Let's let the kingdom of God's light and peace fully, can fully possess our hearts. And let's ask him for that freedom today. Amen. Thank you. I'd like to thank our mayor for having me out here. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone. God bless you.